श्रीकांत इन स्कूल डिड यू हैव अ सब्जेक्ट हाउ टू बी हैप्पी नो कॉलेज हाउ कम दे स्पेंड टाइम टीचिंग यू कैलकुलस बट नॉट समथिंग एज इंपॉर्टेंट हाउ टू बी हैप्पी इज इट बिकॉज साइंस डजेंट नो दिस वाई वुड साइंस टीच मी मेडिटेशन एंड यू नो एकाग्र चित्त एंड ऑल ऑफ दैट एक्चुअली science does spend a lot of time studying happiness okay there is lots of research studies and they do also have recommendations that would improve your life satisfaction science has recommendations on how to do meditation and ekagra chitta and all of that science has recommendations on how to increase your happiness okay this is interesting go on how do you how to be happy the answer is stop being unhappy It's not fair, Naveen. <laughs> no, but now you're pulling my leg. No, seriously. Okay, one very useful mental model to have in life yeah. is called Vaya Negativa. Right? We did an episode on that. Yes. Instead of trying to fix a problem hmm. by adding new things and processes to it, you take things. See out. if you can remove something. Right. Hmm. So look into your life, find out the things that are making you unhappy. Okay. And then try to do less of that. so less of karela in my life yes less exactly. of brinjal in my life well brinjal so, is still fine but one of the basic techniques scientists mm. use mm. to study happiness mm. right and it has become possible in the last 15 years because of mobile phones right okay. what they do is take a large number of people like tens of thousands of people mm. are given an app that they download on their phone okay and at random times during the day huh. the app pops up and says how do you feel you know i mean from happy to sad you note that and then okay. after that they ask them what are you doing right now huh. right that's it and just collect millions of samples of this okay so now throughout the day and for months and for years huh. you have data of what were people doing and how did it make them feel okay right and a few other questions but basically now you analyze this data and you can correlate what they were doing what they were worrying about with how they were feeling correct right correct so and this is a very high quality data set to yeah. understand happiness right? slightly observational but still high quality yeah 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 so unfortunately hmm. we cannot do a randomized controlled study of on course. this right we cannot like catch a bunch of people and tell half of them now we are going to torture you so that you will be happy for the next 3 years that will be a fun study yeah. except will not pass the ethical board exactly so unfortunately we have to do observational studies right yeah. but one of the big things that came out of this uh. right was that they found that it is much easier to reduce sadness uh. than it is to increase happiness ah okay. by stopping whatever is worrying you by taking away things that are stressing yeah. you worrying right. you etc if, if you break up your emotions huh. they found that there are four positive emotions and seven negative emotions that are sort of important for this particular study right okay. so positive emotions are i feel proud i feel confident i feel interested i feel good negative emotions are i feel afraid i feel angry i feel bad i feel bored i feel sad i feel stressed i feel upset You know what I was thinking? Yeah. All of the positive emotions are exactly what I feel when I'm shooting these episodes, yes. and all of the negative emotions are what I felt when I was writing my resignations at all my previous jobs. <laughs> But you will notice huh. that the positive emotions were a little fuzzy, and you're not very clear as to what should you do to get there. Yeah, there is no quantifying them. Correct. Whereas for the negative emotions. there is usually like a specific activity happening right now or a specific problem mm. that you do less of that and the emotion will be less right i'll give a few examples yeah okay. so a lot of anger mm. or being upset mm. right and sometimes even uh, being afraid mm. comes from suspicion or resentment of yeah. people in your life right yeah 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 and you can reduce suspicion and resentment right so what you have to do is you have to increase the trust Start in your relationships yeah. right we did an episode called the evolution of trust you have to uh, take a look at that uh, the prisoners dilemma episode exactly. yeah. yeah so you can actually increase the trust in your life and that will reduce the suspicion and resentment Present. in your life very interesting yeah another problem hmm. is you know fighting or 
getting upset about things that you cannot change, right? That causes stress, that causes you to feel bad, that causes you to feel upset, sometimes it causes you to feel upset, yeah. right? What you have to do is learn to focus on, okay, this problem, can I change it? Yes, then you go and do something about it. And the things that you cannot do something about, just learn to accept it, right? Yeah. A lot of the problems, the bad negative emotions we feel mm. isn't because of the thing happening. But it is because that we are don't accept the thing that is happening, the bad thing that's happening, and we want to fight against it, right? Reduce yeah. that. Reminds me of the it. reminds me of the serenity prayer. We've discussed it in our episodes. Absolutely, episode. absolutely. Right. Uh, in fact, I looked at our episodes and we have shot fourteen episodes which talk about how the to be happy, weeks, how to be less unhappy <laughs> how to be happy right i'm not going to mention all the episodes but let's just go through it right so so basically we've discussed these techniques before yeah but uh, uh, we are sort of compiling all of them into one single uh, um, major macro technique kind of a thing yeah so another problem hmm. is perfectionism right hmm. Hmm. you want everything to be perfect and when it is not perfect you get stressed adhd people represent yes so you want to learn to accept good enough. Yeah. Good enough in parenting, good enough in your homework, good enough in your job, right? Look up the parable of the pottery class that will give you ideas for this. Right? Yeah. Uh, and yeah, uh, good enough in parenting sounds scary, but I have come to realize that it is good enough. <laughs> no, there is an entire book called Good Enough Parenting, which is recommended by child psychiatrists and psychologists. Okay. Oh, okay. I have so, to read that. Another problem hmm. for many people hmm. is social media. Social media makes them feel bad. There is lots of research showing that since people got mobile phones and social media, lives have gotten worse. Mental health has gotten worse, especially for girls. Right. Yeah. And what is happening in a lot of social media mm. is comparisons, yeah. right? You feel bad and not just that, but what's happening is that you are comparing what they put up on their social media with what is happening in your life. Right? You but compare their highlights to your behind the scenes. Exactly. So you want to reduce that. The other thing you want to reduce is outrage and doom scrolling, right? So, I mean, social media is optimized to show you all the ways in which the world is bad, right? But in reality, the world is uh, getting better, right? Check out the link. Yeah, we've so, done an episode on that as yeah. well. So, all, okay, these are ways to not be unhappy. But if I want to, say, be happy, like proactively yes. do something to be happy, right. is there anything so, I can of do? Of course. So, Similar kinds of studies hmm. where they looked at what were people doing and how they were feeling. If you look at the parts where they were happy hmm. and look at what they were doing at that time, right? Scientists analyzed that, put them in a large number of categories. Hmm. And then not just that, but they also put a little score next to it saying how easy this is to do or not do, right? Okay. Oh, winning a lottery is going to make you happy, but it's not easy to win a lottery, <laughs> yeah. right? So. They made this list ordered by maximum impact on your happiness and minimum effort, okay. right? And let me just read out the first few items from this list, Please. right? So one is intimacy with a romantic partner. Spend yes. more time with them. Nice time. Don't fight, right? Go to a theater or a dance or a concert, right? I can't dance, but I can definitely enjoy a concert. Yes. You can watch people dancing or that is also something you find difficult to do. It gives me a complex, but yeah, I get what you mean. Yeah. Go on. Right? So, uh, if you are that kind of person, then mm. going to an exhibition or a museum or a library, sports, running, exercise, right? Yeah. These things, uh, it's difficult to start on them. But once you start, it's... Nice it's easy to maintain momentum. Mountain momentum and at the end, during and at the end, you feel really good about it. Yeah. Gardening, singing, mm. performing, don't have to do it for other people. That will stress you out. But in your bathroom, you should sing. Always do. Ask my neighbors. Talking to friends, chatting, socializing. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is a good use of social media. Not the bad use of social media. Right? And do it in person also. Just walks in nature. 
watching birds there is research showing that if you live in a place that has 14 more species of birds then that's equivalent to a 10% raise well i do a lot of bird watching but not the kind this one says go so on. i'm not going to go through that entire list what is the list called just just yeah. So if we will we have a link there and we will also scroll the list up here yeah. but yeah that's i mean there's a whole bunch of low hanging fruit that right. can improve how you feel right and you just do enough of improve how you feel throughout the day and overall your day is better yeah, like stack multiple little things that improve your mood and give yeah. you happiness and but then you get a large chunk of happiness but forget individual little activities right mm -hmm. if you think of what can I do more in a big picture, long-term sense? The most important part of happiness in your life is people, right? So have a friend circle, right? Get married. All happiness research shows that in the long term, married people are happier than unmarried, right? This goes against conventional wisdom, but I agree with him. Yeah. Uh, well, actually, and by married, I mean long-term committed relationship. Ha. Huh. Right. Yeah. There is a tiny little hitch with the statement get married because it's not that simple man to get married. You have to do a lot of mehnat to get married. First no, you have you to find a partner to get married to. No? Do a lot of mehnat after getting married also but ha. overall that happens and it's worth it. Okay, yeah. There's a 30% gap in happiness between married and single people. Oh. You know, other than that also just having people. So Shadi Ka Laddu is wrong? Khaye pachta hai, na khaye pachta hai. Is that wrong? Absolutely. The science says that khaye to you don't pachta hai. Okay. okay. So, um, <laughs> Scientifically proven. Yes. Get married. Yeah. Go on. Sorry, you were saying. Have a friend circle mm -hmm. and activities with people. So, you know, have a hobby where you get together with a bunch of people who have the same hobby, right? Badminton or running or whatever. Join an NGO, right? Or, you know, just even religion is very good for happiness, right? If you are doing religious activities together with your religious group regularly, uh, that helps, right? Going to church every Sunday, going to a bhajan mandali every Saturday, all of that are, uh, are good. Yeah, I am not in agreement with him on the religion bit, but I understand the science behind it. Yeah. Go on. Don't join a religion so that you can take swords out and go kill people, right? Join a religion so that you can do happy religious activities together. This is what I like about him. He instantly gets what I'm trying to say so without saying it and then he goes so and says it. That's people, right? Yeah. The other thing yeah. is do long-term things which reduce your stress. Like So, one big area of stress hmm. is that suddenly some expense comes and you don't have the money for it, right? Or a sudden medical emergency. Yeah. So, have an automatic savings plan, yeah. right? Which forces you to save every month and then you have money in your bank. Say for a rainy, rainy day. For rainy day. Because there will be rainy days. And then when you have money in the bank saved for a rainy day, you feel less stress. Similarly, have decent health insurance, which will take care of your any sudden health uh, emergency. Right? Hmm. Um, wow. Okay. That's a lot of things that can be done proactively as well no, as reactively. I'm not done. I'm not done. Oh, okay. there is more. One of the most important things to be happy hmm. is to not even try to be happy. Don't do things to make yourself happy. Do things to help other people be happy. Right? Oh. Be generous. Right? Okay. Yeah. And it turns out that that makes you happy. Just we are wired weird. Right? It's not weird. I mean, helping another person out is a special kind of happiness. And I exactly. hope everybody gets a chance to enjoy okay. that happiness. And especially if you have done your automatic savings, so you have a little extra money, you can use that to be generous, you can help people. But more generally, hmm. if you have money, you can use it to buy happiness. Okay, money can make you happy. We'll do an entire separate episode on that. Money can buy happiness. Not just that, but be healthy, right? Bad health is one of the commonest causes of long-term misery and long-term unhappiness. Yeah. So, two important things there, regular exercise and get good sleep. That's, that's the funny thing about uh, health and happiness. Unhappiness is the reason for bad health is the reason for unhappiness. And it's like a spiral. It's a spiral and 
you can get a positive spiral going good health good happiness exercise. good health happiness yes exercise sleep well exercise sleep well right that's And also a spiral because sometimes some people have difficulty sleeping because they didn't exercise during the day but if you do exercise it's a little easier to also sleep just a quick note we were not endorsing the mattress company sleeping well is what he was talking about bad joke but i am more curious to hear about this money buying happiness thing so i'm going to go pester him a little more now any closing thoughts on the whole matter i think one commonly asked philosophical question hmm. is that is the pursuit of happiness the meaning of life right it's 42 but yeah that is also another question so i think that in life it is important to have the right attitude right so going for happiness in the long term is a good thing trying for happiness on every short term thing right that's not necessarily a good thing interesting because some short term hardship hmm. is necessary for long term happiness right so you can't try to make everything comfortable everything convenient everything easy for yourself all the time right yeah. um i mean you know that quote right hard times give rise to strong individuals strong individuals give rise to good times and then good times give rise to weak individuals so there should be and then weak individuals give rise to hard times right. so circle cycle repeats uh, other um, point i want mm-hmm. to make is that you know your success in life depends on your ability to make good decisions mm-hmm. right mm-hmm. but your happiness depends on your ability to not care about the outcomes of those decisions right this is a quote by naval ravi kant but what you will notice is that it's just a rephrasing of karmanya vadikaraste yep right so learn to be happy with the systems you follow the process you follow learn to not be unhappy if you don't reach your goals karmanya vadikaraste ma phaleshu kadachana and i still don't remember the second line i have tried a lot but i can't remember the second line doesn't matter you can go check out the entire episode and all of the other 13 episodes that navin has referenced in this uh, very scientific way to be happy and i hope you implement some of these in your own life i will definitely be implementing a lot of these in mine shrikant navin future iq